Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is July the 7th, 2018. This is just a quick update. I still do not have internet back yet. It's about to drive me insane, and I am not the only one. Uh, people are getting pretty hostile around here about it. Um, I did get me a battery for my laptop, so I'm fixing to go over here. I found me a good hot spot yesterday for um, at the Hard Rock right next door. So I'm going to go sit over there and upload a few charts. I'm going to, until they get my internet on, I'm going to try to get at least two charts a day uploaded. The heat here has been off the charts, uh, so I'm not going to sit out there all day. Uh, but I can sit on the wall outside, and they do have um, a free Wi-Fi there that I can use. So I'm headed out now. I'm going to upload this and try to get two charts uploaded, uh, at least two depending on how fast they upload, maybe more. Uh, so check your, those of you waiting on charts, check your emails. Uh, I will be sending links to your videos. Other than that, Sun and Gemini today, uh, we still got all kind of retrograde planets going. We got just a couple more weeks, and then Uranus is going to go retrograde as well. Jupiter coming out of retrograde, I believe, today. Uh, so that thinking out of the box, it's over. Uh, the rest of the planet's retrograde. Uh, a lot of confusion, a lot of hostility. Um, everybody, every, it's the outer planets. Venus and Mercury are not retrograde. Uh, but Mars is, but basically it's been our outer planets. Pluto, uh, Saturn, Mars. Uh, Uranus is going to go retrograde. Uh, so it's been those outer planets. Uh, Mars retrograde. People get depressed. You feel down in the dumps. Low energy. Uh, easily uh, sit like sitting on pins and needles. Easily snap. Right? Saturn still retrograde in the house of ideologies. Uh, so, and Pluto retrograde there as well. When those two turn around uh, later and toward the end of summer in September, uh, it's going to get really ugly. Uh, a lot of stuff going down, especially with Mars, when Mar all three of them are going to turn around about the same time and go forward. And that Mars in Capricorn is getting stuff done. Right now, nothing's getting done. It's like it's on hold. It's on pause. Saturn retrograde. The gloves are off. Saturn is about restrictions and limitations. There are no restrictions and limitations when Saturn's retrograde. None. There's no fence. The, the chickens is just running all over the place, right? No fences, no barriers, no limitations. Uh, you can channel that energy in the right way to where the sky's the limit. Uh, but... It don't always work out the way you think it will. Especially in the house of ideologies. This is about belief systems. The things we believe, and there's some, and it's at the extreme right now. You've got people really on the extreme edges of two different pillars. You have an extreme right and an extreme left. And, uh, we are starting to see that middle ground starting to form, right? Pluto's in there to take away the old, to bring in the new. So all of these ideologies that people are standing on right now, um, their rug's going to be ripped out from under them. Things you think you believe are true that are not true. Things that you thought were not true, you're going to find out is true. Um, it's like being able to turn over the cards and see what's in your opponent's hand and all of that will start manifesting in September when these planets turn around Saturn puts up restrictions Pluto starts cleaning house and ripping out those ideologies and Mars moves in to get shit done uh, so and depending on how you choose to channel your energies uh, especially with a lot retrograde right now and the ones that are retrograde. Like I said, I believe Jupiter comes out today. 
and starts moving forward. And he's always happy in Venus's house. They get along well. Venus in the house of the sun, that heart of the lion. She'll conjunct Regulus here probably in just a few hours, a day. She'll conjunct on the ninth, two days. Uh, this is the spot where the eclipse happened last year. So that will affect her. That energy will remain until the next eclipse. And the ones that happen in those positions, we have two eclipses coming up this month, but they're going to be below the equator. Those of you in Australia would be affected by that. I do believe they're only partial eclipses. Uh, but always pick up your cross and follow him daily. Uh, we have the moon at 17% crescent moon with the Pleiades today. This is the flock in Egypt. The flock was taken out and thrown into the fire of Ares and ends up down here in the head of Leviathan. The beast that comes up out of the waters. Waters are peoples. So the moon hosting the Pleiades today. And then in a few hours. Let's go, oh, that's in two days. I'm sorry. Two days. The moon will host uh, the Pleiades. Oh, let me kick her into where Aldebaran is going to be. She will also host Aldebaran. See that? That don't happen very often. Every once in a while it will land in this other eye. But the moon snakes up and down. All the planets do. Which you call upper and lower. And uh, so the moon will eclipse Aldebaran on the 10th. At about almost 2 a.m. in the morning. And then it will move over the moon pillar. Right there. On the 10th. At 2200 hours. You're looking at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, 10.51 at night, almost 11 at night, you're going to see the moon align over the moon pillar, representing the Freemason tracing board. They like to do their magic, their moon magic, when the moon is in this position. This is what they did in 9.11. They used Taurus as moon magic. The sun in Gemini, in Pollux. You have Castor over there and Pollux over here. Uh, Mercury and Cancer. Mercury don't care much for being in water. Venus can deal with the fire. Not too happy there, but she's real unhappy. When Venus moves over here, let's see when. Because she's going to go debilitated. Let's see what day. On uh, August 1st, Venus will go debilitated. And she'll stay that way. Let's move her on over. Over a month. Right there. Until October 1st. Two months. Two months. Venus is going to be debilitated. But Mercury will be exalted. As Mercury moves into Ven uh, Virgo, he's exalted here. Uh, so that's good for commerce. Jupiter still in Libra. Let's see. Venus is going to go retrograde back into Virgo. So that's going to be a little devastating. So we're not going to get let me click back on her and see how actually, Lord, for the rest of the freaking year, right there, she comes uh, December 13th. It's going to be December 13th before Venus is not debilitated. So watch your relationships. A lot of hurt feelings, broken hearts. Keep that in mind. Venus debilitated. People reacting from emotion. And not from their heart. Remember that. Debilitated heart. You'll get a couple of days break. When she comes into Libra. And then she's just going to turn right around and go back. So. 
uh, not a good time to enter into relationships if you're keep it on the down low keep it keep it cool calm and to a minimal till after she comes out so you're looking at about what 10 day uh, a week before the winter solstice then you can start moving forward in new relationships otherwise guard your relationships closely for the next few months when Venus decides to go uh, into Virgo and then retrograde all right I'm gonna cut that here there's so much going on um, I have been without internet uh, picked around a little bit yesterday went and found me a good connection got my battery and so I went looking for a connection tried to answer a few emails but literally my emails are still almost what you would say in the hundreds comments as well I'm not ignoring anybody I simply just have not had internet um, nor the way to go do it I finally got me a battery so I can go uh, shop around because that checkers uh, hotspot their little Wi-Fi was crap and I mean crap I didn't really even want to waste my time going up there, so I just ordered me a battery. All right, I want to keep this short and sweet because I do want to take the time that I have today before it gets too hot and get you people's charts to you. And there are quite a few. I have eight, so um, if I can get two a day, hopefully in the next four days, everybody should have theirs. All right. I'll try to post again tomorrow. I'll try to post a short video every day and upload that as I'm uploading the other videos, the chart videos.